Hey, I'm Norman Woods. And I'm gonna teach you how to do a 360 flip here at the Staples Center. Okay, so before we go over 360 flips, I'm gonna talk about some common issues that I see in people's 360 flips. And even before that, if you're not able to do a pop shove it and a kick flip, you should probably go back and learn those two first. And once you're comfortable with those, come on back to this video and learn how to trade flip. Another side note is that 360 flips involve a scoop and it's very similar to a pressure flip. So it might help you to even learn a pressure flip and then come back to this since the scoop is very similar and a pressure flip's a little bit easier of a trick. That being said, there are some common issues that I see with people trade flipping. And one of them is not scooping. So if you do go and learn that pressure flip, it'll help you a lot with the scoop. The other thing that I see is when people pop, they're turning their shoulders. And that's a common issue with flip tricks in general, because when you're a beginner, you haven't learned to use certain muscles that are required to stabilize your board and do the trick that you're trying. So just keep it in the back of your head that your shoulders are to remain parallel to your board while you're doing this and most other tricks. The other thing that I see is people not sticking out their front foot to catch the board. That's a very important thing that you'll see later. You've gotta stick your front foot out to catch the board. So learning pop shove and kick clips will help because you'll know how to identify your grip tape and you'll know when your foot's supposed to catch and land on top of the board. That being said, let's get into it. So the most important part of your tray flip is gonna be your scoop. And you're gonna use your toes sort of like their fingers. What I mean is you're gonna have your big toe here on the board. It's gonna be angled and you wanna mimic your fingers grabbing the edge of the board because you're gonna use that to sweep the board at about this angle so that this part of your board scrapes the ground. And that's how you make the flip happen. That's where that pressure flip motion comes in handy. The second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna be sticking your front foot out to catch the board once it's flipped all the way around. So you're gonna be watching. Make sure that you're looking at your feet. Once you catch, you're going to crouch so that you can land. It's all gonna to come together like this. Your front foot is basically gonna act as a guide. It's gonna keep the board stable. So you're gonna put a good amount of your weight on the front foot until you're ready to crouch and scoop. And then once you scoop your back foot, the front foot is gonna follow the board, wait for the grip tape. Once the grip tape is up and you've completed the rotation, you're gonna stick your front foot on top of the grip tape and start your landing process. Once the front foot's on the grip tape, put the back foot on, then you're gonna crouch, land and roll away. When it comes to doing 360 flips downstairs, the same rules apply with every other trick. You're gonna pop at least 12 inches in front of the very top step. You're gonna crouch, pop, catch your board. Remember, when you go downstairs, it's important not to try to jump up. You wanna to try to pop outward because any extra height that you give yourself in your lift is gonna cause it to feel like it's longer for you to hit the ground. And a lot of times, with me at least, that leads to me breaking a board. We don't want that, right? When you're 360 flipping up and over, you just wanna make sure that you get enough speed that you can clear the obstacle. When going up, as soon as you catch the board, you're basically gonna be landing because you're gonna be at the height that you're gonna land at. So just make sure that you're crouched. And when you're going over, just make sure that you catch and remain still and let gravity push you to the ground. That's important all the time, let gravity push you to the ground. Try to push your legs to the ground is gonna result in bruised heels, sprained ankles, and everything that you don't want. So just make sure that you're popping early, have enough speed, and that you are tucking your legs and leaving them that way and allowing gravity to push you to the ground.
that's about it for tray flips. Uh, anything that I missed that you think or any other tips you guys need, let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And thanks, Lawrence, for filming.